everyone, it's Charlie and welcome back to Wasteful Broadcast. I am going to be doing a video on how to pass your driving theory test. So I'm just going to be giving you a few tips on how I pass my test because I pass it first time. Okay, so with the theory test, there's actually two parts to it. There's the multiple choice and then there's hazard perception. And multiple choice is 50 questions and you have to get 43 to pass the test, I think. And then the hazard perception is out of 70 something in my opinion I think that if you nail the multiple choice you have a much bigger chance of passing because I find hazard perception a lot harder than multiple choice so many questions out there you don't know what you're gonna get I think I was quite lucky with the questions that I actually got which just proves that if I got harder questions I might have failed because I um, could have like revised for it more and my brother took the test on the same day as me at a different test centre. He actually got less than me and when we were doing mock tests on the app he was getting way higher scores than I did. I have to work for it every day and keep it up, uh, like be c persistent, what's the word, like be consistent with it otherwise you're setting yourself to fail really if you don't like try. Even if you think that you know all the road signs out there, it's worth taking at least one mock test. You can get books, I've seen people with books before um, which have like full on stacks of pages about it but I think the app is the best way to go if you have a smartphone. So you can get it on Android or iPhone, I'm pretty sure. Um, and Eve Bennett actually told me about this app in her video and it's just, it's called the DVLA or the DVSA theory test app and it's like the first one that comes up on the list when you type it into the app store so you can't really miss it but what I'm saying is this app is 4 99 and it's a bargain for what you get I just think that it's really worth buying that app for £5 like it's there isn't really a good free one you can look online for the information but this app gives you everything and it allows you to do a lot more so I think an app is probably better than a book because a book is more boring. So what you want to do when you go into the test centre, you say your name and obviously they're prepared for you, um, like they have a time. You always have to, it's a good idea to arrive at least 15-20 minutes before your test so you can just get sorted. That's what they like you to do. Uh, they'll probably say it on the email or the website when you book your theory test. You go in and then you they give you a key fob and you have to put all your belongings in the locker. Now, um, I, <laughs> this is quite funny for me uh, but, and embarrassing because there was this really serious posh guy at the desk and he was quite scary. He did not have any sympathy for me at all and I opened up the locker which was like the bottom locker and somehow I dropped everything I had in my hands on the floor because I was that nervous so just try and breathe and don't be nervous uh, and then another thing is they give you a little booklet and it's like basically the rules and you have to read, the, read it they make you sit down and read it for a bit and when you say oh yeah you've read it they say yep go on in and then someone will check you over so it's like if you're in an airport they will check your pockets uh, to see if you have anything that you're going to cheat so if you're going to cheat I don't think you're really going to get away with it so I wouldn't even try to be honest and then you go in and you sit in like a little booth so um, when I went in there were these people doing other tests and it did not look like anything to do with driving so I think they were taking some sort of an exam or something um, so I, it was really awkward, it was dead silent, so just don't panic, just do your own thing, no one's going to be judging you, um, no one's going to be looking at your screen because they've got walls between like their computers and they're not going to be like looking at us see like, oh she's got it wrong. Um, and there might be people in there, like adults that, that, which are like old, much older than you. You just go in and you sit down and you test the computer and you make sure everything's working and you have a um, some headphones on the left hand side and therefore your hazard perception because hazard perception is you have to look at videos and you have to click on the screen anywhere when there's a hazard so what I suggest about that is don't click too fast or don't click too late like when you see a hazard say one two in your head and then click because when I did it um, I remember I clicked too fast and it came up with like error I think so I think that's why I lost points on my hazard perception. But you just have to look everywhere and it's commonly like cars coming out, uh, things on the road, icy 
um, mainly just lorries and cars and cyclists like flying around on the road everywhere and you just have to click when the, you think that there's a hazard and you're like in the screen as if you were driving it's quite cool to be fair but um just don't get nervous and just put the headphones on you know um i remember i put the headphones on i kept taking them off because they're really itchy but just like try and concentrate do your best and you'll probably pass so and then you cut once you finish your test that she'll give you, the, the person will give you instructions on what to do when you sit down on the computer and when you're finished they will just like come over and they say like yeah come to the desk and then you have to wait five minutes and then they give you your results and you just walk out the door with your results and then open them so yeah and don't judge your result on the facial expression of the receptionist because uh, they will always look moody at you because it's all very very serious in there so if they look moody at you I remember the posh guy that the posh old guy that was there he looked really like really kind of really serious disheartened at me and I was like great I failed and then I opened it and I've passed so don't take anything from their facial expression so that's all I'm going to be saying about the theory test um I can't think of any more pointers at the moment so if I do, I'll probably just insert them on the screen here. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was somewhat helpful to you. Um, when you take your driving tests and your theory tests, it feels like you're growing up in the world. Yeah, uh, good luck if you're taking your theory tests soon. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you. Or you found it relatable. Or it was interesting, whatever. Give it a dislike if you hated it and it was not helpful to you at all. Chances are you probably already knew that information if you're watching it and you've passed your theory test or something. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!